So let's begin. Tap the Pages icon. If you see a document already open, then tap Documents in the top left corner. To start a new document, tap the plus in the top left corner, then choose Create Document. View the templates. Tap your choice, such as blank at the top left. By the way, you might find having your iPad in landscape is easier than portrait because the keyboard will be wider. If you tap the narrow orange bar across the top under the darker brown bar, a toolbar will appear for choosing fonts and bold, etc. To close this toolbar, tap the X in the top right corner. To choose a different font, tap the default Helvetica and then tap your choice, such as Georgia. You are now ready to start typing. If you see paste insert, that's okay. So just type. While you've been typing, you may hear a sound every time you tap a letter. You can turn this off. Tap home to go out of pages and then tap preferences. Tap sounds and then on the right, tap keyboard clicks so that on changes to off. You can select words and sentences the way you can on a computer. Tap a word to get the highlight with a blue handle at each end. Drag the blue handle across and up or down to make your selection. You can copy and paste where you like. To select the new position for your selection, hold your finger at the beginning of where you want to place the words. A magnifying glass should appear to make it easier. You can drag the magnifying glass until you get the exact spot. If you're not sure about a word, tap the word to select it. A menu will appear with cut, copy, etc. Tap define to get the meaning. You will get the meaning with some examples of how the word can be used. If you tap the paintbrush at the top right, you can access style choices similar to the toolbar. You can also find colour options. Just tap the font name. In the next menu, tap colour. If you have selected some text, then when you tap a colour, the text will change to that colour. You can take advantage of the text highlight and change the size at the same time. To access formatting features such as dot points, then tap the list tab in the paintbrush menu. To turn your document into two columns, tap the layout tab in the paintbrush menu and then tap the plus. To turn on word count, tap the spanner on the top right. Tap settings and then tap word count so that on has the blue highlight. If you need a string of capital letters, then double tap the shift key until the colour changes to blue with a white up arrow. To add photos, tap the plus at the top on the right and then tap media. If you get an access photos message, then tap OK. You can choose where to find photos, such as camera roll. Tap a photo you would like to use and it will appear in your dock. It will probably be too big. Drag one of the blue corner handles to make it smaller. Drag the middle of the photo to where you want the photo in your document. You can change the angle of your photo by using two fingers inside the photo and gently turning the photo by one finger dragging down and the other finger dragging up. You can type underneath the photo. To add a shape, Tap the plus on the top right and then tap the shapes tab. Tap a shape such as the arrow to select it and it will appear in your dock. Once again, you can move the shape by dragging in the center of the shape. You can also resize by dragging a corner blue handle. And you can change the angle by using two fingers inside the shape and gently turning the shape. Next, you can continue typing under the shape. 
To save your typing, tap Documents at the top left. You will see your document probably in the top left of the page's documents, with blank as the file name underneath. Tap the actual word blank, and a rename document window will open with the keyboard in the bottom half. Type a file name and then tap Done. You will see your document renamed in the Pages Documents window. You can choose to group documents on the same topic in the same folder. Just drag one document on top of another on the same topic and the two will appear in a folder. You will need to name the folder. If you need to delete a document, then tap Edit on the top right. The documents will shake, so tap the document you want to delete. While you can see a yellow select box around it, tap the trash icon. A red delete document message will appear, so tap delete document. To share your document, tap the spanner on the top right. Next, tap the share and print option. If you want to email, then tap email. You can choose a format, for example, pages. Next, an email message window will appear ready for you to complete the details. If you want to print, then tap print and a printer window will open. This example shows a home printer. What you see here will depend on the printing setup for the network you are using. Another option is to tap copy to. You can choose to send to iTunes for easy transferring to a computer. If you have WebDAV, then this is another good option for sharing. Pages has a good help section. If you get stuck, then, in one of your documents, tap the spanner. Tap help and soon Pages help will open. Tap a topic and you will see solutions.